Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. Today, we're going to produce a sign that involves routing, V carving, and lasering. This should be a lot of fun. Hey, Sean, what have you got? It's just about to install the new op laser on the machine. Hey, I got a project for us. Last week, one of our employees came through with her daughter and she saw some of the signs we made. And she looked up and she said, can you make me a sign with my name on it? And I like turtles. Got any ideas? I've got some half inch Baltic birch that would work great. Great, okay, so we can route the turtle shape. We can 3D engrave her name. Maybe we How about use we that. use the laser? That sounds like a great idea. Okay, let me go create something. You get on that, I'll get this installed. Here's a picture I found on the internet of a sign, and I, I like it because it's the overall shape I wanted. It's, it's big enough to put a name here, and it's got a lot of details, and I can bring those details out uh, with the laser. So th this is going to be the perfect drawing. Now, let me show you what it takes to get this uh, from this photograph into something we can machine. All right, the easiest way to do this is first create a layer, and I've created one called Display, and I've made it red. And, and we're, so we're going to be drawing on that. So I'll, everything I draw is going to be on that. Well, what do I need on here? Well, there's not really a way to automatically pick this geometry. So what I want to do is, is I actually want to trace over. So here's how I do it. Start out, and let's go with this. And I usually just start out here and pick in the middle of the line. Try to pick in the middle. She so go around there. And it's easier if you do the longer ones first. And let's say that's what we wanted. You see, so that created a line. And if I, let's turn the picture off. So that's the line we created. And you notice how it's a nice smooth curve. And that's because it built that as a irregular curve as it went along. Now, let's, let me show you something that you may not have thought of. Okay, if I go to the node editor, it turns out that's a handlebar curve. Well, a handlebar curve is an irregular curve. And the machine control doesn't have the ability to create that. So... It's the software substitutes short line segments. Well, creates a real long program. So before we actually uh, process that, let's convert it. So we use this button, and it converts it into circular arcs. And we'll hit preview. Now you see once that's done, we'll go to the node editor, and you see now that's one line segment. So that's an arc. So our process then is to go through and get all of our geometry get it to digitized in and then convert it into lines and arcs. Now let me show you what that looks like when you're done. So when I got finished, this is what it looks like. There's the red lines, all right, so those are digitized. And then the black line actually represents the outside. So that's going to actually get cut with a router bit. And then these are going to get cut with uh, a laser. And then we're going to do a 3D engrave on top here. So. So basically, I've gone from the picture to this, and all the geometry is converted to arcs. So now we're ready to actually start thinking about, okay, now how do we actually toolpath this? VCAR Pro has the ability to work with multiple sheets now. So what I normally do is I start with a sheet. I di really didn't care about what the overall size was. I just wanted to get the geometry. Then I came over here to sheets, and I created another sheet that had to do with the size I actually wanted the part. So if we come over here and double click it, you see, I actually took the geometry over here and then scaled it so that this created the final size on this. Now, the reason I did that, if I change my mind or I want something different, I've got the original to work with. Okay, I've added one more piece of geometry here, and that's Tatum. That's the little girl's name, so we're going to 3D engrave that. So there's three operations we're going to do. The first thing is we're going to use the laser to actually cut all that. So everything you see in red is going to be cut with the laser. Okay, then we're going to do the 3D engraving, and that's going to be the name. And then finally, we're going to do the outside, and that cuts it to final shape. Now, let's take a look at that in simulation. All right, the first thing that's going to happen is the laser cutting, and we'll simulate that. And it's actually going to look better on the actual sign than, than on the simulation. And then we'll do the 3D engraving on the machine. And finally, we do the outside. And if we double click the outside, that should eliminate that. That looks great. Now to recap this, let's look at what we did. First off, we found a picture 
of a sign that we really liked. Then we took that, brought it into VCAR Pro, and then we vectorized it. Then we scaled it to the size that we wanted. Then we applied our tool pass. Then we ran the simulation to make sure everything went the way we planned. Now we've sent the file out to CNC Sean. Let's go cut it. All right, I got the file from Router Bob. I've got all of our tools set. We only need three tools for this one. Let me tell you what we're gonna use. The first tool we're gonna use is the new op laser. We're gonna use that to give our detail and laser grave in it. Second one is gonna be a 90 degree insert bit. We'll use that to carve Tatum's name out. And thirdly, we're gonna use a quarter inch compression bit to cut out the turtle. All that's left to do to get this job started is hit go. Sean, how did our turtle sign come out? Hey, Router Bob, turtle turned out great. I really think Tatum's gonna like that. That is so nice. All oh, the edge finishers are so good. You know, I've been routing a long time. There's no substitute for ball screw technology for great edge finishes. I couldn't agree more. That's why we chose a shop saver machine for our company. But in this project, I really think the op laser really shone through. You know, just the intricacy, the beauty of having that laser engraved really helped out. I got an idea. We have got a dovetail drawer project coming up. Why don't we use the op laser to put your company logo on the drawers? I like that idea. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.